Let's see what is hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid is a fold of mucous membrane and submucosa containing a varicose tributary of the superior rectal vein or inferior rectal vein tributaries. Two types of hemorrhoids can be seen. Those are internal and external which classified according to the position in the rectum. Internal hemorrhoids. Internal hemorrhoids are varicosities of the tributaries of the superior rectal vein and are covered by mucous membrane. The tributaries of the vein, which lie in the anal columns at the 3, 7 and 11 o'clock positions, when the patient is viewed in the lithotomy position, are particularly liable to become varicosed. Internal hemorrhoids are initially contained within the anal canal and they are considered as first-degree hemorrhoids. As they enlarge, they extrude from the canal on defecation, but return at the end of the act. They are considered as second-degree hemorrhoids. Third-degree hemorrhoids, with further elongation, they prolapse on defecation and remain outside the anus. Internal hemorrhoids occur in the upper half of the anal canal, where the mucous membrane is innervated by autonomic afferent nerves therefore they are painless and are sensitive only to stretch. Large internal hemorrhoids give rise to an aching sensation, rather than acute pain. Let's see how the hemorrhoids are formed. The superior rectal vein is the most dependent part of the portal circulation and there are valveless. The weight of the column of venous blood is thus greatest in the veins in the upper half of the anal canal. Here, the loose connective tissue of the submucosa gives little support to the walls of the veins. Moreover, the venous return is interrupted by the contraction of the muscular coat of the rectal wall during defecation. Causes leading formation of internal hemorrhoids, chronic constipation, associated with prolonged straining at stool, is a common predisposing factor. Pregnancy hemorrhoids are common owing to pressure on the superior rectal veins by the gravid uterus. Portal hypertension as a result of cirrhosis of the liver can also cause hemorrhoids. The possibility that cancerous tumors of the rectum are blocking the superior rectal vein must never be overlooked. They frequently occur in members of the same family, which suggests a congenital weakness of the vein walls. Varicose veins of the legs and hemorrhoids often go together. External hemorrhoids. External hemorrhoids are varicosities of the tributaries of the inferior rectal vein as they run laterally from the anal margin. They are covered by skin and are commonly associated with well-established internal hemorrhoids. External hemorrhoids are covered by the mucous membrane of the lower half of the anal canal or the skin, and they are innervated by the inferior rectal nerves, therefore they are sensitive to pain, temperature, touch, and pressure, which explains why external hemorrhoids tend to be painful. Thrombosis of an external hemorrhoid is common. Its cause is unknown. Although coughing or straining may produce distension of the hemorrhoid followed by stasis. Signs and symptoms of hemorrhoids, due to external hemorrhoids, itching or irritation around anal region, pain or discomfort, swelling around anus, bleeding can occur, and due to internal hemorrhoids, painless bleeding during bowel movements, pain and irritation may be the main complaints. If blood pools in an external hemorrhoid and forms a thrombus, it can result in severe pain, swelling, inflammation and formation of a hard lump around in us. Prevention and treatments, fiber supplements moderately improve overall symptoms and bleeding and should be recommended at an early stage. Other lifestyle modifications such as improving anal hygiene, taking sits baths, increasing fluid intake, relieving constipation, and avoiding straining are used in primary care and may help in the treatment and prevention of hemorrhoids. Surgeries have to be done in serious hemorrhoids. Here is a summary on our discussion today. Definition of hemorrhoids, pathology, classification, internal hemorrhoids, external hemorrhoids, causes predisposing to hemorrhoids, signs and symptoms, prevention and treatments. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the video.